thing, right? Just yeah, I mean, it's basically Secret in. Service issue, sort of, you know, really <laughs> incognito. You would never even really know. Uh, nonetheless, let's see this pistol round get underway. And it looks like Kenny wants to take the fight out front right away, finding Angel. Good shot there. Eventually, he's going to get dinked. So it's going to leave him on 33 HP. Still, he's got a frag early on in this round. He's got to put Hellraiser in a little bit of a disarray. Well, Hellraiser just have gotten long control. But again, like those long range fights are always going to favor the USP. I'd say they do have a P250 on LOL, but. LOL. Play up. LOL. <laughs> Players falling left and right, though, on the side of Hellraiser's. Kenny's going to follow up with another one. And onto the site we go. Mm. Nikki does find Kenny, but quickly responded to. Shoxy's going to join in on the fun as well. So, one sided pistol affair, to say the least. Yes, it's true. Already, G2 able to pick up that pistol round. It should help just a little bit. I mean, just flashing back to what was that of Inferno. Hellraiser's won the pistol and the following round, and then, well, actually won both pistols, so. Yeah, pretty much everything went their way, didn't it? Yeah, really was nothing that was going to find its way over into the G2 camp. But now there's a chance. Definitely is Angel. Get some tag damage on to Jax, but that's about it. Well, we'll see if they can line some magical one digs and whatnot. It has been a pretty significant investment on the side of Hell Racers. Oscar being the only one who not is not really purchasing up too much. He does want that op as quickly as possible. And rightfully so. With some of the damage he was doing in the last map, I can completely understand it. Does make sense, doesn't it? That it does, Halvor. That it does. All right, so three smokes in hand. They could set up for, well, first off, a bit of a wall on Catwalk, drop one guy in to spawn, and also have one smoke left for uh, a cheeky B split. Might be the name of the game. We'll see, though. It's Oscar up and upper. He's got the bomb on his back as well. He's just going to sit there dormant. Kind of allow for the rest of his team to do a lot of the poking around. There we go. That's the two smokes down towards Catwalk. Still one for the potential cross. I'm not even going to bother with it. No, but it is Issa that's able to do something there in terms of trying to get this team into the site. The split, the pinch is there. Ominek holding fast within the site himself. You get showing Nookie. Just trying to even things back out and eventually finds himself alone. Does have an AUG. Okay. If he's got to switch over to the Deagle, he's going to find himself in trouble. He's got no ammo in it. One versus one. Jax coming from the tunnel. But no time. And that is going to be it. a stinger. Yeah, you rarely want to stay alive uh, on your eco rounds. <laughs> you know, as a T in general, that's uh, not going to bring you a whole lot of fortune. But... He does manage to keep an AUG to his name. He does have uh, head Kevlar as well. So I guess there's more value in that than uh, what he would have gotten for just dying in total. But we'll see if he's going to be able to actually do something with this. They've actually opted to buy it behind it. Oscar, who saved up the round before, he's not going to go for that off. He's going to get a AK to his name. So they're going to try to work with what they have here. Mala Tov off to take complete control of this long A tunnel. And put Lucky up there in a pretty forward position, leaving any idea that Long could be compromised. Meanwhile, Nookie will be the one that ultimately has his back turned and will be the last one in the area. And everybody getting ready in middle. They're going to have to answer the Omanek. They're going to do just that. He finds two, finds three. Nookie able to get one on the shocks in the meantime, but... Will it be enough? Not looking likely. Lowell by himself, the Deagle, Smoke Molly. And the bomb down and probably one of the worst places that you could probably find it. It's not ideal. Deagle from last remaining Hellraiser's player is going to have to be accurate here. It does have a smoke, so it could potentially section off the one CT player there, but never even going to get that far. Four frags, Dominic's name. Is not this not a bad round? Is that real life? Sean Garris, have you lost your mind? I think the lack of sleep, buddy. 
I totally think the lack of sleep is catching up to you. But the fact that you wrote all that out, I'm very flattered. Thank you very much, my friend. Ah, damn. I might even... Might even frame that. Definitely worthy of a print screen. Yeah, I'll go ahead and copy that. Not bad, Jonathan. Not bad. Not bad for Kenny S either. Finding the kill on the Angel. What is not a very expensive round for the Hellraisers. Trying to take a little bit of cat control at the time. They're going to get picked apart by that of GP Esports. Shox, he's working his hardest to find us and eventually will be rewarded. And Oscar, oh, er, how has this happened? Is he going to be able to drop down without making a noise? Okay, he doesn't get the chance. He's going to get a bomb plant, though, so this is just great news for our razors. So awkward. How does it happen like that, Halvor? Uh, Tell me. Yeah, I don't really have an answer for you. Think about the timing gods. It's invisible, maybe? Oh, God, is this? Oh, dear. Nookie. 1v3 somehow. Is able to stop the first defuse wave, and now it'll be lucky that cleans it up. So, yeah. two was... kills on a bomb plant. Not well, a bad day at the yeah. office. Yeah. Not bad at all. All users, though, yet to grab a round, which is the more pressing issue. But they will have a buy up now. Oscar on that op, finally. We're going to see what they've been able to work on. It's kind of prefaced. All users, not your typical Dust 2 team. Not even close to it, in fact, especially compared to a side like G2. Has that uh, been flashed out? Not really sure if he spotted anyone mm. going down into pit. Even if he did see Jax eventually, not early enough. He's got Hellraisers all sort of messed up. Stuck in spawn, just hanging around. Having a good time. Having a good time. It's going to be Lowell there in the tunnels. The most forward position of all of Hellraisers have just about no map control. Now they're going to be slowly working their way in the middle. Very cognizant of what could be a long push, even though it is Molotov off. That doesn't dispel the fact that it could still be there. Comes cat take. No one there to answer that either. So they flash, finding no one. Now we have a little bit of a pause here from the side of Hellraisers. They've kind of stopped in their tracks. Five alive on the side of G2 still. Utility all the way down to two HEs and three flashes. Oscar trying to sell pressure over towards A. Yeah, they're trying to sell this idea that it's going to be A. They're even throwing this smoke so they could potentially s skate out and shoot into CT spawn. And what that's actually done is pulled all the defenders of G2 off of the B bomb site. How has that happened? I don't know, but it worked pretty well, pretty easily, too. They're just going to waltz right on in there. Oscar hitting a nice shot on the shocks there at the mid doors. is going to leave the four members alive of G2 to reconvene at a later time at this B bomb site. Which is what they're going to have to do now as bomb has been planted. Trying to get set up will be the Hellraisers. And Oscar continues to be a problem here for G2. Honestly, if you're G2, now you save. You can't complete this retake anymore. I have. You don't see that every day. You have a man advantage and you actively give up a bomb site for no real reason. And then save. And then allow Hellraiser to just walk in. It's kind of weird. Yeah. I don't know what the idea was there. They just kind of hung out behind the smokes in, in mid, not really doing a whole lot with it. Yeah, it's easy for us to say in hindsight because this is a rerun. So Yeah, no, we've seen this before. Like, this is, you know, one of those things. Uh, very surprising uh, maneuver from G2, and that's going to net Hellraiser's round number one. That so, it is. See if that's a continuation error or not from uh, their end. Still, though, plenty of time for G2 to make up for that. Could potentially... Bring it right back in this one as they can, uh, can buy up. Kenny's got the op. So does this man, Oscar. Mm. That he does. Having found his way out of the blue bin will be Nookie, but there's a Molotov here. He's going to have to use his smoke to keep himself from burning alive. They're going to nade stack him, and certainly 
doing a lot of damage, you'd think it would be enough to take him out, but it's not. They fight the fight here on Long A. And Angel's gonna come out on top over Lucky. He's not alone, though. And Hellraisers do recognize this. Still the fight going on. Two players having to go and skedaddle out of Long. D2 side. Skedaddle they will. While they're in the tunnels, just in case there's some sort of push that they could capitalize on, maybe run it all the way back. Oh, almost timing to get Kenny there, but instead it's going to be the shot that he lands. Bring us to a 3v3. Op's still alive in Oscar's hands, and he does have the bomb now. Taking a bit of a breather in T-spawn. Yeah. Meanwhile, over there towards the B site, Lowell just trying to walk out, and any second he's going to be presented by a player into the window of Omanek. So that one's... A big old rip right there. 2v3. 35 seconds left on the clock. We'll see. Chalk's posted up already. Ooh, timing might get the better of him. Switch back to long for now, and he's yeah, going to be there in time to deal with Nikia. Oscar too far back. He's got 20 seconds in the bomb. He also had a smoke, actually, that they could have used for that crossing, but it uh, seems like he just wants to hold on. And there we have it. G2 bring it right back after losing a bit of a weird one. So all things, uh, I guess, specs are normality. G2 yep. continue their winning ways. And they do. And with Oscar holding on to that op, he's still going to be a menace to that of G2 Esports. Should they get any ground where they want to. Here we are. What a fight for Long A, though. It starts off so well for Hellraiser's skin. Yeah, they find two frags. They should be able to work off of that. Hell, getting the player out the blue bin and him not dying to the double nade and the Molotov. <laughs> is... It's a victory in itself. I mean, it, it could have been. Would have been. Should have been. Now they're going to lean heavy on this B side. Rightfully so. That was probably sent that communication over there that, hey, guys, I'm able to walk out here late just about every round. Double from Omenek will prove to be a really bad omen there for the Hellraisers. Do Some, get in, though. They do get in. At the end of the day, that is what matters. The bomb will get planted. There'll be no one there to just run right in. Here comes Jax from T-Spawn. It's going to be Oscar, Angel, and Lowell to defend this. I like priming some nades, seeing if you can do some damage, catch anyone on low HP. Unfortunately, that's not the case. How did G2 set up this retake? Mm, big shot from Oscar there in the tunnel. That's going to help him immensely, and Angel's going to grab one for himself. That's going to cause Lucky to back away and fight another day, being the next round. Two on the board for the Hellraisers. Bomb's going to explode. And a good idea, good call there from the Hellraisers to run out and be fast. They knew they were getting away with murder, just running in there every round. Yeah. Really, that is the kind of a bomb set where if you get the, the equal trades, two for two as they did there, perfectly fine with it. Playing after plants on B dust two is well, somewhat of a joy for a T side. Just to clarify, this is a live rerun, as in it's not live. It's not all. a rerun at all. You guys have been duped. Debated. You thought you were trolls, Twitch chat. You thought you had the memes, but guess what? Here I stand, or sit rather. Five to two. Let's see if the Hellraisers can string together some rounds. It certainly would help them out in a big way. Yeah, good opportunity to do so as well. Looking at the buy from G2, and this could obviously have follow effects to their name. Could. Here's some of the follow effects that you need to know about. It's going on CSGO.net. There are discounts and new cases every week. If you didn't know that, well, hurry up, man. What is even cooler with code Colonie? C-O-L-O-G-N-E. You get 30% bonus on your top-up. As CSGO.net is an official partner of the GG.bet Cologne Invitational. Boom. Booyah. Now what, Halvor? Now nothing. Now we'll get back to the game, huh, Trace. <laughs> <laughs> back at it again. Back at it again. It's going to be Angel that's going to push out long, eh? And unsuspectingly fall to Lucky. He was in a pit. Fire from the Hellraisers on Cat will help as they are able to round out Elbow, get that bomb down, and just a little bit of patience from Nookie's gonna pay off in a big way. Lucky falls, Omnek with the off is gonna have to fall out of CT spawn back to Banana. Ooh.
They like each other. Awkward. All things equal. Yeah, I mean, if you're Hellraiser's at this point, you know you're, uh, they're saving. You should be pretty okay with just uh, going on a bit of a wild hunt to op save. They don't know about both, but they don't know about one. So just knowing how much there is to, to lose, really, on the side of G2, you'd like to see Hellraiser's chase forward. Even if their economy isn't that great, they should be aware that this was a force buy, considering the mixed bag of weaponry coming out from G2. But they hold fast. Not moving too far out. G2 are going to be able to go into the next one with two offs. That could actually be pretty big for them. CZ Nuki, up. Oh, he opened up long. Bit by bit. Nicely done. Five to three. Two rounds in a row for the Hellraisers. That's what they need. And the stutter step from Lucky proves to be a very unlucky one at best. He gets a leg down to 29 HP. Now we have a bit of a duel going on here with him to be sighted. It's going to be Shocks with the op. He's able to save the day. The defense to be bomb site needed. Stopping the two invaders and Hellraisers. The rest of them are going to have to work their way up A now. We already shown face here at long. That's a pretty massive gap in the smoke. Or in the cross, I guess. Alright, there's second smoke comes in, so that's gonna rectify it. Angel moves over. That is Oscar with the bomb though, so everybody on the side of Elders just need to make it to sight. Spots that tower immediately. Not before Lucky finds Issa, so 2v4. Low HP on a fair few players uh, on the side of G2. Ooh, and shot. what a shot. He's decided to jump here. Barrels the barrel right into Oscar, and Angel's able to pick up one before he does fall, which also gives the round up to G2 Esports. Not a massive investment in this round either, so. No, not really. Just we talk Kevlar. About big L's. That's going to be one for the side of the Hellraisers. A tough yeah. one to swallow. Six to three for the French. And saved up on shocks. Netting himself three kills. Can imagine how hard this would have been to do. Boom. Yeah. And you have to imagine what would happen had Shocks not been <laughs> able to do these sort of maneuvers. Of course, the jumping up there, just the style on them. Seems to be a French thing. Well, then, as you see, the GG bet dot odds heavily favoring uh, G2 this time. 1.18 in favor of the French, and Hellraiser's back down to, well, back up to 4.48. Hmm. Well, that's not favorable for the French at all. <laughs> yeah. Jax is going to be able to bring it back a little bit, but it's not going to be alone. Kenny chimes in with two. That was quick, so sick we start to think that Hellraiser just might have something going for them here. All of a sudden, they're left to just Issa. Just Issa, 80 HP and a Molotov, AK. Perhaps he can turn here, but I feel like he's already been sniffed out. Oh my god, what a shot from Jax. I'm not sure if he just briefly landed there on the the platform or if he just somehow, some way, one taps him with the AUG, but that was broken at best. <laughs> Big fan of the AUG, I can tell. I don't mind it. I, I'm growing used to it day by day and <laughs> growing used to it, not fond of it. I don't say I didn't like it. I just, you know, I'm growing used to it, you know. <laughs> I'm going to put words into your mouth here. Wouldn't let you do that, Halvor. Not today. 7 to 3. We look at round number 11 with the Hellraisers struggling to find a string of rounds. Oscar legged in middle by Omnet, the unsuspecting opper. He picks it up nonetheless. Flex is over to the B site where his teammate Shocks will be waiting. Make control by the Hellraisers and they're holding on to it tight. Peculiar setup nonetheless. No one playing middle at all. No one even, I think, peering towards middle, perhaps that of Kenny with the op, but yeah. as it stands, they're. They're taking this B tunnel's control slowly, just kind of held up right now. Yeah. 
Might see them throw a bit of a pop flush in to clear the corners and get extra information. But right now, it's going to be Hellraisers to start the pressure. Nice smoke to mess with Kenny's vision. Oh, look at that. They dropped on spawn on him. Lucky's going to be waiting on the A ramp. He's not going to have a clue. And they pistol a bad nuke down on his head. Meanwhile, Shock's working his way up catwalk. Will tap, tap away. Oscar Nookie, can he find one more to make it three? That will be the question. Potentially four. Spray. And it's just going to be three. And uh, easy to fuse from the side of G2. French really coming into their own here on Dust 2. Home ground and showcasing why that is. Hellraiser is having a bit of a struggle here. Just to remind you all at home, deciding map, if we were to get that far, would be Train. I mean, do you have any early favorites if that were to come true? Uh, no. No? G2. Just completely unbiased? No bias whatsoever, my Just friend. Fence sitting all day? All day, all night. Johnny, la gente estime loca. <laughs> Throwing out some wild references here now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. I do like it. Here we go. Let's see how Hellraiser's like this. It's a buy, but not a whole lot of mates. It's going to be hard to, for example, take long. And you can already see there's one certain Jax who's made his way really, really far up. I think you might have an inkling, but he's been standing like this, shooting through plenty of times without really knowing whether or not anyone was behind the doors. Oh, that double nade. It's a... Uh, not expecting mm -hmm. the second one. And Jack's actually making his move towards long as well. well I should say Nicky making his move into cave. It's going to be the end of him right now. I think we've seen this scenario a fair few times. Hellraiser is losing a man somewhat early into the round and not really having a set idea as to what they want to do. Used a little bit of utility here and there all across the map. Now they're stuck with two smokes and a Molotov. That's going to be the, the go-to play here. Smokes for mid. Nobody seemingly wanting to go out, though. Oh. All right, Shox. <laughs> Getting interested in what's going on in Upper Dark. Yeah, well, this can leave this AWP to defend the B-bomb site for just a little bit. The Cavalry's on its way. Works to CT now. Omnic probably in a tough spot. Not able to stop them at all. The reinforcements have arrived. Three versus three. It's a very low. Lucky very low. And now Lowell finding himself at half HP. Bomb has yet to be planted, but it has to go down now. There's no waiting anymore. That reload for Lowell. Oh my goodness, Oscar in the meantime. Well, there you have it. Oscar saving the day right there when all else has failed. It's going to be a fourth for the Hellraisers. Yeah. Shoxy with that aggressive peak on B when they're up one man. Proving to be the downfall. Ominic also not able to connect with his off shots. Hellraiser seemingly only finding success towards B. Get in there, get the bomb planted down, and then they are able to, to hold on to it. But outside of that, not really a whole lot has been working. Kenny's okay, going to be safe and sound to hold on to his op. Money, though, on G2. Not ideal. Lucky, Omnic 3.1, 3.4. Should see a buy up here because Kenny can drop. And G2, for the better part of it, have been the better team in weapon rounds. That they have. Would you consider it a successful half if Hellraisers can pick up, what, two more? Six rounds? I mean, given how much of a struggle it's been, I would say sure. Uh, but successful in that sense wouldn't necessarily mean enough to win the have game. Have a good chance of winning, yeah, exactly. Well, the op duel on long. And by duel, I mean Kenny S with AWP. Find himself a little bit of trouble, but never known to stray away from it. Not in this moment either. Here we go. Now we've got the standoff on Catwalk. It's going to be that of Issa and Jax. Here comes the rest of Hellraisers. Utility being used. I think G2 have realized it. 
quite a bit of success here from the Hellraisers and their cat takes and just how much territory they're able to grab and control there. Kenny's going to take some of that some of that away. Oscar out of the picture for now. One sniper reigns supreme. As it seems like Hellraisers have figured out that B has been pretty kind to us. We're going to continue to test that out again. Shoxie temporarily left that B-bomb site. And now it seems like they've joined up on, clued into what was going on. Oh, that was a badly timed flash. Doesn't even seem to matter. Kenny and Dominic clean things up. Shocks just being a bit of an extra on the bomb site. Fail safe, safe, ah, fail safe if you like. There we have it. Fail safe, there you go. Nine to four. So, the investment works out for G2 once again. They uh, definitely looking like they will be hitting double digits here. You know, that's what it smells like. Round number 14 has now arrived. Hellraiser's on four. Molotov used early on there and rightfully placed at long A. Hellraisers wanted to get out there fast from the looks of it. That is going to slow them down tremendously. Nuki again out at the blue bin. He's going to take that fight. Here comes a nade for you. Ooh. Perhaps Molotov as well. Has a smoke. Is prepared. Quite the contest. G2 seemingly know where to take these fights early on. Good on them. He's going to now be lucky and Kenny S. Just doing it all. Getting it done. Oscar. 1v5. 46 HP. No armor. Health. No bomb. No real chance. Well, here you go, and Kenny seemingly having warmed up. Two frags this round. And, yep. An aggressive stance from G2. They don't want to let Oscar hold on to that off. You might be able to hear Amadek. Well, it should be able to hear Amadek here. Peers around the corner. <laughs> and Amadek's taking the detour. It's going to work out nicely. 10 to 4. Still Hellraisers looking to put 5 up. There's still a chance here. Never say never, Halvor. Never say never. Back to back CT rounds for G2 Esports. Maybe they can make it a trio. Looking very likely. The buy from Hellraiser is not very good. They're going to be directing their attention towards B early on, or at least towards upper. They're going to be finding shocks. You take those trades. Oh, Kenny, you need to get out of there. And he won't. It's Angel. Sprays him down, finishes him off. Three oh, members alive. Name. Big grenades, big damage done. Ultimately, Nookie does fall, but Jax takes, takes it down to 39 HP on himself in the meantime. So was it worth it? I don't Probably. Know. Let me work it. So they hop down. Omenek's going to flip it, then reverse it, and then put it right back where he found it. He does falls to Issa. Um, that's a missed Molotov, I'm assuming. Ooh, Jax's AG here could prove to be pretty nice if he's able to launch that in towards the back of Plateau. Oh. Now they have that information. They know where the second player is now. Oh, short-lived. Short-lived and short nade. And again, it's going to be the B-bomb site that treats Hellraisers nicely and gets them to five rounds. It's uh, not ideal, but they'll take what they can in a half where they have been pretty much outplayed for the better part of it. Yeah, that long A was not friendly to them. Hell, middle wasn't friendly to them. Catwalk and B were just really where it. they found success on their T side. Now they're going to flip it over to the CT side, and perhaps this can go a little bit smoother for them. Oscar, 12, 3, and 10, as you can see. Other than that, relatively quiet. No one really popping off here for the Hellraisers, but that can all change now in this pistol round. Out of the GG bet, odds in at the half. 5.91 odds for Hellraisers to win the match, and 1.11 for G2, and that kind of makes sense. Three favorites on this one. Oscar's going to go down to the catwalk train. It's it. Uh, can't do much with that smoke in the way. Ouch. Well done. Absolutely battered to bits and pieces. Just get rolled. That's pretty much what's happened to Hellraisers here. 
Kieran Lucky's going to spot him out at the edge of the smoke. Sharks really keen on getting that frag. Not going to find it, though. Now it's just G2 players taking turns at having a go. Oh. <laughs> Four players, the, the classic four-man peak on Angel to make sure everything goes according to plan. Owned. That is the easiest way to put it. 11 to 5, G2. Not really having a problem there on that pistol round at all. Not wrong. Not wrong at all. G2 just securing that strong position that they had. And in a first, at least uh, for this tournament, Elders just deciding not to buy anything at all. They've been really adamant about buying Deagles and Armour. See what they can do with it. Oh, it's going to be the mid push, and all oh, this has obviously been spotted out. It's just a matter of time before it all goes downhill here. Kenny's getting a lot of opportunity to try to get something done, but. And you know, he's just panicking, calling for his teammates. Hell, hell. Dear Lord. Oh, that was uh, messy. Kenny probably should have landed a kill or two there, but nonetheless, G2 won the round. Maybe next time, Halvor. Maybe next time. He's been doing pretty well with the AWP in the first half, so can't have it all. Or can you? You can have what's, I suppose, rightfully yours over at GG.bet. That is uh, very true. Also, if you go over to CSGO.net, use code COLONE, all caps, you get 30% more to your balance and uh, get the chance to win some cool skins, too. So you have an early trade. 4v4. Angel and Jax taken out of the equation. Look at this. Already aggressive moves. Aggressive posturing from Hellraisers. They might get caught on a timing here, though. Mm. It might be Kenny instead. Mm. Lowell shown up, Ooh. but so has Lucky. Two for two. He's going to leg it in there. He might not be expecting Shoxy. Shoxy's going to let the first one pass. Obviously, Communicating this with uh, Lucky. An easy execution afterwards. Lucky's going to spam through the doors. Not going to find any success there. And with the bomb planted, that really does change the course of the round. One versus two. Shocks and Lucky on the opposing side. And now, nobody. G2... 13 rounds on their path to 15, and then that coveted 16, taking us into the third. The decider, Halvor. Train. That's right. Train on the cards at this moment with the current pace of G2 Esports. Doing everything that they can or need to. Really, maybe not even everything they've got on the G side. Okay. Right. Kenny's not going to get the connection, and instead it's going to be Ominix to lead the charge. He loves that MAC-10. He's going to find Oscar as well as he made his way out into blue container. It's quick. And speed kills, as we all know. So G2 could utilize their weaponry to the best of their ability, get the range advantage versus Hellraiser's pistols. It's actually pretty annoying. One of the few maps that have, I guess, long enough range to make the Deagle headshot not a one-hit kill. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. I feel like that is something they could boost up a little bit. The likelihood here for Hellraisers in this round is about as likely as getting a Zeus Ace. All right, I can't yes. wait to see that happen for the first <laughs> time as Hellraisers <laughs> turn this around. Of course, as soon as I say it. Oh, shock slow. Use the thingy that shoots oh multiple bullets. What have I done? Yeah, you might have done something because the bomb <laughs> hasn't gone down yet. Kenny is here to make sure there's order in the balance, or the balance in the universe. Or order in the balance. All or, of it, or really. order in the store. I don't know. Order in the courts as we take a look now at the retake here from the Hellraisers. Lau, Nookie, and Issa. Be holding on, trying to get some more ground here. Maybe even waiting for Lau there at long. Probably the wise decision. There you have it. Oh, boy. There we go. A couple frags will begin to clear things up. Lowell, that long player, never arrived. There was never any pressure. Or would it really matter? He only had a CZ. Perhaps he's trying to find himself a weapon. 
Hoping that something gets shot back by the bomb blast. See if he gets lucky as he peers out. It's just going to be no. It's be a big no. No 14. Zeus Ace either. 14 for G2, you're right. We um, are teetering the line. One thing that I guess we well raised our eyebrows at yesterday was the fact that Hellraisers, they boast 100% win rate on overpass, right? Mm -hmm. And they've banned it in every match they've had so far. Saving strats for the major, man. Might be why. Uh, they definitely haven't saved many strats here on Dust 2. Or shown any. Really. Yeah. So it's pretty much like, let's <laughs> hope that G2 gives us B. And then we'll take it from there. That's not going to work out in the long run. And it's not going to work on the CT side either. Oscar, oh, he's going to get the drop on shocks. Sticks around a little bit too long. You see, though, man, disadvantage on G2. If they're going to be able to work with this hostile work environment. Jack's taking out to half HP. Well, mm. OK, make that more than half HP. It's down to six. They're going to recollect themselves here, G2. No real reason to do anything crazy right now. Molotov expended out in the middle. Draw a little attention there. Meanwhile, it looks like we want to go back towards the long. It's going to be Nookie playing up close. Pending the sound cues, he may have a hunch. Jax with 6 HP waiting on Catwalk. So you have a two-pronged attack here on the A bomb site. What they don't know is the fact that, well, Angel has, in fact, worked his way over as well as that of his teammate and Oscar. Here goes your skirmish. So far, it's not G2 that are running it. They have flashes, but they're not using them on the side of G2 to get around the corner here. Instead, it's going to be Oscar who finds Jax moving up on Cat. Return is in. Mm. Kenny, you've got seven seconds, so you just need to bail out. Well, we do have an AK stuck into the wall now. I'm sure the landlords are not going to be happy about that one. Neither is Kenny S because the time has ran out. And it's going to be a six from the board for the Hellraisers. Took a little bit too long. And ultimately, with the six one on the board for the Hellraisers, and actually their first one of the half, has it been just a little too long since they've won a round? Is it a little too late? We'll find out. Chicho obviously not having an issue buying up again. Smoke goes down. Kitty just has the chance hit. Not going to be able to land any sort of shots or do some damage. Lucky out. Pretty well orchestrated. Long take there. Okay, then. That's Angel gone. That was probably not what Lucky was expecting. But he'll take it. Oscar's going to be the main defender now of this area. With that off from sight. Have dropped. Oof. Kenny down in there, so it could be a pretty interesting duel. Oscar's actually going to back off. Enough smokes to get the cross. Safe as well. Dominic playing for these rotators in the middle. Meanwhile, the four members of G2 have found their way all the way up to long A. Just barely on the outside of the site now, and they'll be able to get into it sooner rather than later. Omanek squeaking his way right out of middle. Very patient. Hellraiser's a little bit aware of what could potentially happen here, but he's taking his time and making that maneuver. Now is the time for him to shine. Get to the spot and the player trying to get the jump into Cat. But as I say it all, just Oscar with the AWP. There's not a damn thing he's going to do about it. One versus four, he's going to back out. Hold on to this op for the potential last round of the Hellraisers. Never mind. He's not even going to be doing that. He's a pistols versus Oscar today. has not been working out. No, it has not. There we go. Pause. You'd assume that this is Hellraisers trying to talk over what they could possibly do to, to salvage this, or I guess it might be G2 trying to figure out how they can Hit the final nail in the coffin. Or Hellraisers are already talking about that train. train. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, what are you going to do on pistol and train? <laughs> well, that was one way to prepare. Oh, well. 
So, do you want to buy a phone from whatever that ad is for? Or actually, do you want to buy a fax? It looks like a cyber cafe, right? Yeah. We do, they do photo identity. So they do photo passports or passports for photos. All right. You can get your hair cut there apparently as well. You can go in there in the internet. You can cyber in there, which is kind of cool. Damn. Miss, miss the days of cybering, right? Do you now? Being able to cyber. Interesting idea. That's how more Google stall y'all. You might cyber notice. Cyber interwebs. No one has been dead. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Missed those days for sure. <laughs> God Maybe damn. a different meeting where I'm from, but potentially not. No. Oh, God, you went that route. <laughs> no, Jesus you Christ. said it, man. Nah, you said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we yeah, <laughs> definitely different meetings. <laughs> Dear Lord. Shame on you. Lowell, me? the first oh. casualty of the round. Four versus five. <laughs> no kits here for the side of Hell Rangers. Last round, of course. And potentially last round for Oscar on Dust 2s. He's already going to find himself out of the equation. Nookie, Angel, and Issa trying to keep it alive here on Dust 2, but potentially too much damage has been done. There you have it. One, two final players left for the Hellraisers. Make it just Nookie. Got the bomb at least, and well, two kills to his name. That's gonna be all she wrote. Ominic closes it out 16 to 6 for Hellraiser.